Hello and welcome back to the fourth Hotshot Racing video. Um, we're going to be doing a another uh, Grand Prix. This one, I believe, is the Hotshot Grand Prix. Um, uh, it's time to choose a fast car again. Um, it seems to be the best cars are the ones with the top speed from what I've discovered playing this game. Um, anything else, you're probably gonna struggle, especially on the harder difficulty le levels or settings, I should say. Um, yeah, so uh, I'm gonna pick uh, Jing this time. Uh, once again, I can't remember what his car's called. We'll see that when I get there. So yeah, um, let's get to it. These races were generally fun, and I believe uh, this one might have the casino run track in the Grand Prix, which is probably my favorite track. Um, in the whole game. So, all right, let's get to it, shall we? Okay, so, yep, yeah, GP4, which is Hot Shot. Or is they got it there? Hot Shot! <gasps> anyway, um, oh, it doesn't have a um, casino run. It's got Downtown, which is the second best track, in my opinion. So there's Jing. Uh, what car are we going to choose? What's the name of the car? Come on, come on, come on. There we go. Um, Alpha. Oh, pretty standard name, really. Uh, phonetic alphabet. So yeah, Alpha. This car, as you can see, the drift, once again, not the greatest. Speed is great. Acceleration, it's, it's, it would have to do, basically. It would have to do. So, as we're going to the first race. Oh, Ski Paradise. So this is set popular their version of Switzerland or something like that with the Alps um, looks very really nice as you can see the track isn't um, that different from an oval it's basically got a few more um, bends on it where you can get some slides in there but um, pretty standard fair for the first type of track so as we do uh, get a decent start and then we just try and drift and build up that drift gauge there. Oh, um, this car seems to hold well around what, 150 to 170 miles per hour, which is okay. And already the computer's trying to um, push me off, but once again, this is a heavier car, so it's not as easy for them to push me into the walls. I mean, don't get me wrong, they do try it and they do succeed a little bit, but you can course correct uh, quite easy with this type of car here. All right, go around a few more bins. Oh, I hit that side. Well, actually, I didn't hit it. He hit me into it. Victor, uh, I believe he's Russian. Um, yeah, he's just he's just a bit of a dirty driver, as they all are. Let's get another fun fair to the right and to the left. As we go into the Alps, go past another checkpoint. If you're playing along, we don't have to worry about the checkpoints unless you spin out really. You're always gonna make it in time, no matter what the track. So we should be coming up to the last lap pretty soon. Oh my God, look at that, going for another drift. And I got hit again. Anyway, we're coming up to the last lap now. I've got four bars of nitrous, so that's okay. I'm still fighting very hard with Victor. He's really getting aggressive here. But um, as soon as I hit a straight, there we go. Use one boost. And we will use another one this after these chicanes. Yep, there we go. Gonna build a little bit of a gap if I can. Because no one to do a drift. Oh, there you go. Look, Vix is really back. He's, he's all over the place. My God. And we're gonna use another boost in a second. There we go. And then another one just to make sure. Bam, first place, get those points. Right, and on to the next race in the Grand Prix. So we've got Temple Ribbons as the second race in GP4. Um, probably Victor's gonna be my main rival again. Uh, we see how what he does against me um, on this particular course. Okay, once again, I fluff up my... That's a terrible start. Um, this car, I'm just not getting my fast starts. It's, it's, it's nothing different. My time is just off, which is a bit bad, really. 
Okay, well, um, you see what we can do with these temple runes. Got back my first position, so that's not too bad. Track is nice and wide, so plenty of opportunity to get your slides in. So your drifts, I should say, rather than slides. You want big drifts to um, rack up that boost gauge. So you can just let loose on the nitrouses as and when you want. But I'll still save them for the last lap. Ah, I don't see Victor up there in this in this race. I wonder what happened to him. He must be behind me somewhere. Now it's Marcus that's just changing. Alrighty then. With the big throw, Marcus. As you can see, this, this track's pretty simple, really. Um, there's not much chicanes or anything like that in there. It's just another variation of oval, which unfortunately is what most of these courses are. They're mostly just right turns or just left turns. Whether it's chicane here or there. There's no shortcuts. There's no jumps. Um, there's not even, I don't think there's even any pit lanes on these courses. Well, there you go. Yeah. Uh, it's a little small indie game, so hopefully they made enough money to make a sequel to address some of these issues. All right, we should be coming up on the last lap pretty soon. Wow, I'm fighting here. Hopefully, um, I have got enough about me to get this first position uh, that I desperately need. Right, I've got my four nitrouses, so I'll use one there. Okay. Don't do too many um, drifts, because they're going to look back there. They're trying to push me out already. They can see that I'm going to drift, and they're trying to spin me out. So I want to be careful. Is it nitrous there? Right, we've got some, I don't know, we've got three of them on my tail, as you can see at the bottom of the screen. Just hold them off, hold them off for now. I don't really have much of a nitrous. I've got like one day just built it up in time. And there we go. Get the victory, get the points. There, there was quite a dirty, especially on that last lap, but um, I didn't help myself from my rubbish start. But anyway, let's get on to that next race. Okay, so we've got downtown the third race in this uh, hotshot GP4. This, in my opinion, is the second best course in the game. And as you can see in the left hand, bottom left hand corner, simply because it's a decent variation. It's, it's just, it's got more than just right turns. There's some lefts in there, uh, decent drift opportunities. So yeah, it's just a more interesting course. You've got a whole U-bend here. So it's, you know, when they put stuff like this on their courses, it just makes it more interesting to drive around rather than um, a Daytona light game. Yeah, it's got narrow twists and turns in there, some decent chicane. So yeah, this is just, like I said, in my opinion, the second best course. If you're playing this on the harder levels, Oh, the computer's vicious and they will ram you into a wall and especially the chicanes oh, they're dangerous, they're very dangerous even on normal as you can see here uh, they, they really rough house you around certain sections of the course so alright um, we just start the second lap now so let's try and talk through this lap ok so we've got a right hand bend here then we go into the left hand U bend that's nice, you don't want to touch anything there at all. Another right hand bend here. Ow, oh, didn't control it very well. Hit the, hit the wall there. Hit the wall there as well. This is not a very good second at all. Alright. Once again, hit another wall. This is a terrible second lap, in fact. Um, I'll, I'll probably be lucky to stay in fourth on this lap here. I think he must have hit into the chicane there. Once again, look at that. I need to decelerate in some of these corners. Right, we're on the last lap now. The last lap. Oh, Victor's doing much better in this uh, particular race. He was six on the last one. Okay. Now we're going to go around the U-bend again. Oh, I took that really nicely there. That's really nice. Ouch. Still slammed into that wall. Just not taking it. Oh, did someone push it? Yep, now I'm being shoved. Yeah, there we go. 
And now I'm really in the thick of it on this last second, I've been shoved all over the place. But you know what? Get to that first place, use them nitruses. I just need to, just a little bit of breathing space. That was nicely taken. And, well, it was until it crashed. But there you go. Just about held on. Okay, final race coming up. Okay, this is Sea View, uh, the penultimate race. Just got to get what I suppose what, as long as I don't drop lower in third, I should be okay here. And um, got a good start, a really good start actually. But actually, I think I can come at least fourth and higher. I've won, I've won. Yeah, but that was a nice start there. Um, Victor's there, so he's gonna want to come. Even if he comes first, as long as I don't drop down too low, I'll be okay. So I'm tussling here with Victor. Uh, this this track's actually, it's, it's a decent track. Um, it would look really cool if it was properly set at night. Um, if they had like stars in the sky and stuff like that. But you know, it's more of a sunset. And here we go. Through the underpass of the mountain. What's the, is this uh, still on the first lap? Where's the check -up? Where's the finish line coming up? Should be running about 50 seconds. And here we come up to it now. Okay, so this is still not a particularly long lap. We're talking still under one minute per lap. I could probably get that down to what, 50 seconds, I would say? But my God, the computer's pushing me all over the place. I just need to stick near the, all right, Mike, Mike, chill. I just need to stick near Victor and I should be okay, but they are not having it with me. Look at this, sixth position. Okay, all right, all right. Still need to stay calm, stay calm. Just um, slipstream to catch up and just stick around Victor. As long as Victor doesn't um, get too far ahead, I'm okay. And they're still hitting me with some argy-bargy behind me. Good Lord, these freaks are vicious. Look at that, get out of it. All right, here we go, final lap. Four nitruses in the canister. When am I gonna use them? When am I gonna use them? Oh, there's Victor, he's not too far ahead. Mike, get out of the way. Here, do I forget that I have them? Okay, there's one. And there's a second one being used there. Okay. When do we use? Oh, there's a third and the fourth. I must be waiting on that long stretch. Yeah. Okay. I use them one after the other. Bang, 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 bang. And that's that. Come first. We get to see the ending on the victory podium. There we go. So the eight points. That second race with Victor messed up, really. And what's the odds on that we're going to see something to do with an aeroplane again in these endings? Because they just seem to love having aeroplanes in racing games for their endings. I wonder if the next game was supposed to have aeroplanes in it. All right, let's see what you're going to have. Look, that's a weird looking dog. Oh, there's a brunette crying because she's so happy to see me that I signed her autograph. And there we go, an airplane. All right, well, I shall see you on the final GP of Hot Shots rating. I'm out. Peace.